the different punches he threw. I mean, the final punch was a uh, uh, straight left at, uh, hook out of the southpaw stance. I mean, it was something, you know, rear hook. I mean, it was, it was really special. Uh, but Reynoso saw some things, and they, I thought it was his best coaching performance as a pro. I really do. I wanted to stick alongside the uh, the top ranked stable uh, for a minute because the one thirty pound division has kind of come alive recently. When you think of Valdez's performance against Burchell and Heron's performance against Frampton, he made that look a lot easier than expected. Shakur Stevenson moving up, but there seems like. There's a good mix between the three of them to make the fights, but it doesn't necessarily feel like it's quite aligning. I think Valdez and Heron want to fight each other, but Heron can't really sort of manoeuvre around the WBO situation with Stevenson. Valdez is being rumoured to fight Cohen Chow as well, which is a fight that I don't really want to see because I've not been impressed with the Brazilian since he turned pro. So what, yeah. do, you th- what do you think unfolds there? I don't know. It's a question. You know, it really, this is going to come down to politics. I think uh, politics within the sanctioning bodies, you know, greasing palms, whatever it is. Um, Stevenson was promised the next shot, uh, you know, for a step aside. He has a fight coming up. Um, Traditionally, uh, sanctioning bodies uh, have allowed unification fights to come ahead of mandatories, but there's already been a step aside here. So you never know. Boxing makes its rules up as it goes along. So... Uh, you never know. And the WBO is traditionally extremely close with top rank. So a lot of it will depend on, you know, it gets complicated. Listen, uh, Herring is with uh, Brian McIntyre, uh, who has Terrence Crawford. And then uh, Stevenson is promoted by Jay Prince and uh, are managed by Jay Prince. And there's a lot of heavy hitters on all sides of this. So I couldn't begin to tell you how exactly it's going to shake out. But I agree with you. I would... I think Herring Valdez is a great fight. Uh, I hope we do see that. How surprised were you by the Valdez Burchelt performance? I uh, when it was first announced, I ha- I favoured Burchelt quite heavily because I just think Valdez not so much regressed under Renoso, but I just thought he was being taught tricks too late in his career. He couldn't really adopt it at that stage, but it just seemed to click on the perfect night. And as it drew closer. I watched the Blood, Sweat and Tears series that was on the Top Rank YouTube channel and I just started to believe in Valdez a little bit and the performance. I mean, you're talking about a performance of the year, knockout of the year, potentially an upset of the year, all rolled into one. So how impressed were you with that performance? I thought it was incredible. You know, you looked at that fight and you said, OK, Valdez might have an advantage with the light with his left hook, but almost all the other advantages, you know, physical nature, punch volume, you know, knockout, record. Oh, Burchell had so many advantages on paper, and they found a style uh, with the switching going in and out, going left to right, uh, lots of different punches, different angles. It was wonderful. I mean, it really was. Uh, it's going to take somebody really impressive to beat Eddie Reynoso for trainer of the year, you know, with his work that he's doing with Valdez and Canelo. And of course, uh, um, Ryan Garcia had a nice win over Campbell this year. So, you know, granted, it's still early in the year, but it was just an incredible performance. It was not just, uh, obviously, Valdez had a, executed a wonderful game plan and the, the different punches he threw. I mean, the final punch was a uh, uh, straight left at, uh, hook out of the southpaw stance. I mean, it was something, you know, rear hook. I mean, it was, it was really special. Uh, but Reynoso saw some things, and they, I thought it was his best coaching performance as a pro. I really do. Yeah, I completely agree. 